Hey everybody, this is Brian with Inspiring How You See That. We're the channel that talks about all different kinds of music and entertainment, and we interview some of your favorite artists. So if that sounds interesting, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Keep up with everything that we're doing. And today, I'm very pleased we have a very special guest. This is Sean Green from Behold the Beloved. How's it going? Good, Sean, how are you doing? I am hot. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful hot day here in beautiful. Indiana. <laughs> it is. Yeah, I'm good. Well, thank you for spending this time with us. We really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. And actually, Behold the Beloved, you guys are going to be playing tomorrow here at Kingdom Come, correct? Yeah, tomorrow, like 1.45, 2 o'clock is our set time, so I'm excited. Really Excellent. Excited. Excellent. So what made you come here today? Just kind of chill out, see what's going on? Yeah, me and my, me and my wife, she does our event coordinating stuff, and we want to just make connections. That's what it's all about. You know, we're, we're a band, but we're a ministry first, and I love to come out and see some of the other bands. I mean, I know when I'm on stage and I'm a band, I love to see other bands, you know, just hang out. And uh, so we want to do that. We want to support all the other bands out here as well as make connections and have a good time listening to new music. Absolutely. Yeah. And I got a little dust in my eye, that's why I was doing that. <laughs> <laughs> but, of course, like us, you're a PA boy too. I so, am a PA boy. There yeah. we go. It's always cool to see somebody from the great state of Pennsylvania like we are. So Yeah, I didn't want to do like the whole nine hour drive and then be here. <laughs> so we came yesterday, did the nine hour drive, just rest and relax and then here. Nice. Uh, my other band members are not as smart as me. Uh, they're on their way now, so they're going to be pretty dead. That's why you get all the glory. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so Behold the Beloved, how long have you guys been together? Eight years. Okay. Eight or seven years. Our first year... Uh, well, like when we got together, uh, we were under a different name. We were beyond a call, and it was just me, Jeff, our uh, lead guitarist. We just got together with this other guy. He had a show in a youth conference in New Jersey, did the youth conference, and after that, it was just like, I think we should keep going here. I think God <laughs> has something for us, and I think He wants to open doors and revamp the name, behold the beloveds. Yeah, seven, eight years. Excellent. Now, one of the things that and, and you guys probably remember we did an artist spotlight on Behold the Beloved. Yeah. So we're huge fan. One of the things I love about your music is you take really praise and worship and add the rock element to it. Yeah. You know, like I'm thinking Oceans. You yeah. guys did a cover of that and, and made it your own. Mm -hmm. It kept it true, but I love how you're able to do that. So what was kind of the impetus as far as doing that song in particular? Uh, two things. At the time, that song was everywhere. <laughs> It was everywhere, and sometimes it still is everywhere. <laughs> it's it over and over. And uh, so at that point when we were a band, we were doing more cover songs than we had original music at that point. Okay. And that was just the one that we gravitated towards because everybody would know it, so there would be great participation. Uh, but the words, the lyrics, we are big on lyrics as a band, yeah. obviously. Uh, and it's it's true, and, and we all, as humans, we all have these moments where we're scared, where we're depressed, where something, and we're just... We look down to the ground, we let it suck us in yep. instead of looking up to the Father and letting us pull. So um, that song is what we gravitated to. And I had this idea running in my head to just, what if we sped this up? Like, <laughs> like it's an 8, 16, 100 minute song. Let's just speed up the tempo and put some cool. And I'm going to out him right here and now. Jason, our guitar player, said, that's going to sound so stupid. And to this day, he goes, that was the best thing you ever said. So we love it. We still play it. And, uh, I don't want to spoil it, but we'll play it tomorrow. Nice. Yeah. So if he ever disagrees with you, he could be like, Oceans. Yeah, yeah. Oceans, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> done. Conversation done. <laughs> and then one of your newest songs, Clench Fist. Mm -hmm. um, that's another, that's a little heavier hitting. Uh, the video was really cool. Thank you. Um, the, the way that you guys, it, it was cool. You were in almost like this warehouse. And so how did you guys find that? And how did that song come about? Uh, Clenched Fist, we started writing. We just wanted a song that was in your face about surrender but not saying surrender. Right. Uh, and it was just uh, a cool way that how it came together that Jason, shout out to Jason, he writes a lot of our lyrics. He is, he really dives deep. And uh, so when we're writing this song, we're like, what? how can we tell people, you know what, doing life on your own and doing it yourself is dumb. Yep. It's not gonna get you anywhere. And so it, we just came across, God just feeds us lyrics and, and we like to do some sort of way of What's the word I'm looking for when it's metaphors? But okay. not, not too deep to where people can't get it. Right. And so the metaphor of just even the picture of like this, going like this, yeah. came to mind. And, uh, you know, that's what we need to do. We need to stop holding on to things, and we just need to surrender to him. We need to throw everything at his feet, whether it's good stuff or bad stuff, you know, just giving our life to him and letting him take over. Because if we want to see fruit in our life, that's the way we got to go. Sure. And 
the warehouse that we got was actually one of the band members uh, work workplace oh nice and uh, so we got in there after hours and turned on some lights and are, are they aware of that are you... yes <laughs> <laughs> no they are they all are, of a sudden he doesn't have a job what do you <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they were, they were totally aware, and it, it was awesome. We knew we wanted a different scene than we did in a previous uh, Remedy uh, uh, music video. We wanted something mm -hmm. indoors that we can control some elements, and uh, yeah, I love how it turned out. It was, it's awesome. Nice. Yeah, Thornwall Studios is who we record with, and he actually did the video for us, editing and all, and he did a fantastic job. Very cool, very cool. So. You guys, that's, I believe, the latest one that you've released so far. Yes. Are there more singles coming soon, or what's in the works right now? Yeah, so the original plan was the album should be on its way in about two months, but that kind of, what I like to say is, um, in the beginning, COVID took advantage of us as a band, so we're going to take advantage of COVID. Uh, so we're going to take advantage of this time where not everything is open, not everything is, is uh, booking. So right now we are finishing our album and uh, we are also now going on the road and hitting some shows. So the album is now put not to the side, but is going slow than anticipated. Also because we had our 11 songs picked actually. All okay. the songs that we wanted on the album we had picked, uh, but God just, God kept feeding stuff to us. So we have multiple songs we're still writing and we're like, let's not rush this. We rushed our first album, still great, and, and God still came through in that one, but we want to make sure that we really take time on this album. So. Another single is on the way, okay. ho hopefully in the next couple of months, and I can tell you the name of it, and I'll probably get smacked, but that's okay, because I can take all my band members. Um, <laughs> next song coming out is, uh, is going to be called Playing With Fire, and it is a pounder, a rocker, almost like our cover live song. Nice. And it is just basically a song that we want to tell people, you know, there's always, we all go through times of life where we like to touch the fire, we like to dabble in the fire, we like to play with it, and, uh, and then we can't let go of it. And the only way to let go of it is to look to the Father and allow Him to extinguish that fire. And so, yeah, I'm excited for that song. It's going to be awesome. Nice. See, that's why you need to watch Inspiring How You See That, because you get breaking <laughs> news that you don't otherwise get. <laughs> that's true. That's true. <laughs> so, now you guys, again, while COVID was going on, were you able to get together? Or was it kind of one of those, you know, you're writing and practicing on your own and then you know, virtually working together. COVID hit and we we said, okay, we're still meeting. Uh, as a band, we're all in about 45 minutes from each other. Okay. So we kept going every week, practice every week, uh, and just practices turn into, instead of practicing for shows, turn into we're getting together and we're writing tunes. Uh, so we just, we kept going it. We didn't miss a week every week. Um, COVID did hit every member. Mm -hmm. um, you just take that two weeks and not nothing serious on any of us. And uh, after two weeks over, we went right back to it. And see, so they're all fine. And we're all fine. <laughs> we're all fine. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is exciting. Um, yeah, I, I can't wait to hear the new stuff. Yeah, I, I know it's going to be phenomenal just based on everything that you guys have done. So, Thank you. Um, before we leave, if there's one piece of advice that you could give a fan that's thinking, you know what, I want to get into music, I want to start a band. Good, bad, and different. What's one piece of advice that you would have loved to heard when you first started? Oh, well, that I would have loved to heard. Um, ooh, that's tough because <laughs> I am a dreamer mentality. Okay. And I would like so what somebody wouldn't tell me because I had to tell it to myself is don't listen to people's their doubts or if they say that'll never happen, don't listen to that. Okay. Like if you know you want something or you feel like God's calling you something, doesn't matter what people say you can or cannot do, do it. And I had to tell it when my wife, huge shout out to my wife, she is big on my life to tell me, hey, you want it? Keep going, like keep dreaming. And so from day one in this band, like I've, I've dreamt and I want, I want to see the impossible be possible. Yep. And so it, it's, it started from when we didn't have many shows and I'm like, I want to play with Disciple and I'm going to talk to these people and the worst they can say is no yeah. and they end up saying yes and then God opens a door and then you're like, all right, that door's open, let's try to grab another door and if it's locked, you move on to the next door. So I would tell people out there, a fan who wants to get into music, to never doubt yourself, doesn't matter what people tell you, to keep dreaming, to keep pushing forward and sometimes you won't see the outcome that you think you want to see. You won't see the outcome that you believe you should see but to keep pressing forward because God has a huge plan. And uh, if you just fo fix your eyes on him and not your own strength, uh, cool things will happen. It is amazing how when you trust him, oh, yeah. anything, everybody says this won't work. I think it won't work at times. Yeah. 
And he's like, I, I gave it to you for a reason. Just trust me. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. And he always comes through. Every time. Beyond what you could have expected. Yeah. And sometimes not at your... Maybe like, not the same way. Yeah. If it was up to me, <laughs> we would be so far. <laughs> so it's not on our timing. It's on his timing. He's but like, you just know what? wait. Just his, <laughs> sometimes he... Man, God's... Real quick. God's timing is just so cool because you think... It would just be so better if we had it here, 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 and we could be ministering to thousands and millions of people. Why aren't we doing this? But God puts you through like hardships and puts you through like waiting games that you appreciate those. Yep. And I love that because I feel like if we would be headlining with with Skillet somewhere right now, and we just went from bam to bam, I wouldn't appreciate sure. the ministry side of our band like I do now because I've seen the growth and, I've, and we've made connections and we've seen people at shows so i i'm loving this 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 game that god has us going through and navigating us through that's awesome yeah. so before we go where can fans follow you guys oh come find us on facebook behold the beloved uh instagram is behold the b and uh, you can always check out our website www.beholdthebelovedmusic.com and if you ever want to bring us to your area uh, behold the beloved at gmail.com we'd love to come down we are booking now even though we're writing we are booking we want to start seeing people again so that's why i'm loving this kcf being here and seeing all these people excellent and as we always do we'll put the links down below so it'll be easy for you guys to follow them and i'm telling you, you gotta check them out they're one of both kevin and mine's favorite bands we love these guys and we know you will too so is there anything you want to say to fans before we sign off Go to as many shows as possible, <laughs> even if it's not our shows. Let's get out there. Let's glorify God because that's what it's about. Let's rock out and have a good time and uh, be safe. Absolutely. And again, thank you so much, Sean. We appreciate this. And thank you to all of you. We love you guys. We love spending this time with you. As always, God bless you and rock on.